611 here. It is a Tuesday morning, and it is time now for our In Your Business segment. And Peter Guzman is joining us from the Latin Chamber of Commerce. We've been talking about business, Peter, all morning long because of the new restrictions that are in place uh, announced by Governor Sisolak over the weekend. So uh, these, 20, these new restrictions, this has a big effect on your restaurants, all sorts of different businesses around town. What are you hearing from the Latin businesses here in Southern Nevada about the effect of these new restrictions? Yeah, you know, uh, ironically, uh, the response so far has been, hey, uh, we're glad we're at least being able to stay open and not completely uh, close down. That's where the real fear was, was a, a complete closure. And so, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're, I wouldn't say excited, but the opportunity to stay open and, and, and still produce is, uh, it keeps them hopeful. You know, I think it was the Nevada Restaurant Association that was saying that maybe 30% of the restaurants in town uh, could close by December. I, we acknowledge that it's not just restaurants that are being affected by these new restrictions here, but how uh, worried are the business leaders you're talking to about their survival business-wise? Yeah, I mean, listen, we're going through a pandemic. Everybody's worried. Running a business is a, is a tough profit margin even before COVID. So imagine now it's even more challenging. And with all these restrictions, yeah, it becomes challenging. But you're seeing some of these restaurants pivot, uh, which is what entrepreneurs do. Pivot to outdoor dining, uh, curbside, more of all of that stuff. I think outdoor dining is going to become a big deal um, and, and part of the business plan. And so... Again, uh, you know, not an exciting time, but certainly hopeful that uh, they're able to at least stay open and, and produce a little bit of uh, revenue. But it's definitely a challenge, and, and there's some nervousness. The, the local Latin community, the, the Hispanic community, has been hit is particularly hard by the coronavirus. The number of cases in, that, in those parts of the valley have, are higher than all of other parts. Adding this as another layer here, it seems like th this is a, a, a pretty difficult mixture to try and navigate. Uh, when you talk to folks in the community about that, what are they telling you about their abilities moving forward? Well, listen, you know, the, the Hispanic culture lends itself to, to, uh, to be vulnerable on a situation like this because families tend to live in bigger groups together. Uh, you know, grandma and grandpa uh, living at home, and, and then you have multi-generations living at home so youngsters can bring that home. As you know, uh, uh, last month we, the Latin Chamber, gave out over 25,000 reusable masks in trying to curve that, uh, the terrible pandemic that we're going through. But at the end of the day, um, we're all going through it together. There are some things that we can do, uh, I believe, to, to help uh, minimize and that is wearing the mask, and that's why we're encouraging everybody to, you know, wear the mask, do their part, and, and get tested if you have a symptom. And, and let's keep Vegas open as, as much as we can. We're, it seems like we're getting close to a vaccine, so keeping us open keeps us hopeful. When it comes to, final question here, to f assistance, though, um, a lot of this depends on the federal government, obviously, but what discussions have you had with lawmakers, whether it's Clark County, legislators, or the governor's office, about some sort of financial assistance, either for businesses to stay open or maybe just people trying to stay in their homes? Well, truly, I, I, I do believe that we as a state and local municipalities have done an amazing job. The county it, it just announced another round of, uh, of uh, help for small businesses. We've been involved with the tri-chambers. Uh, in giving out grant dollars, the state, the the, the treasury uh, has been working really hard in getting an additional twenty million dollars uh, in funds for small business. We know that small business is the engine that runs uh, not only our communities but our our country, and so everything we can do to get dollars in their hands and keep them open gives us a fighting chance. A long way to go. Uh, hopefully not too much longer, but uh, the, the hope is there. Hopefully the money and the assistance will be as well. Peter, thank you for joining us again this morning. We know there's a big challenge ahead for our local businesses. We appreciate it, Peter. Good to see you. Always a pleasure being with you, and thank you for highlighting things like this. Of course.